Ladies and gentlemen, Keith from my repair autos. Uh, today I'm going to talk briefly about brake lamp out warning messages. They have been plaguing many a Mercedes owner for years. I have a video up here showing you exactly how to do a conversion. Mercedes sells that um, harness part description down below but uh, what I want to talk about briefly tonight this morning this afternoon wherever you are in the world um, today once you've done the uh, upgrade once you've gotten the new harness you've spliced it in you've connected up your bulbs one of three things may happen the first one is and the one that you hope to see is everything's gonna work as it should bulbs are gonna be out they come on when you press the brake uh, pedal and when you release the brake pedal they'll go out and uh, your message in your cluster will be gone um, most likely though that's not going to be the case it's going to continue to say brake lamp out warning your brake light bulbs will stay on sometimes they stay off and you're going to say to yourself it didn't work harness kit was a mistake you did something wrong Keith's video is incorrect and I've been getting tons of uh, private messages indicating such and what is going on what's happening is your SAM your rare SAM signal signal acquisition module has the DTC error code in it is saying hey there's a short there's no voltage going through and it's going to register that until you do a couple of things the first thing is you're going to put your key in the ignition turn the ignition on start the car and of course your foot's going to be on the brake once you started the car leaving it in park you can take your foot off the brake pedal put your foot back on the brake pedal to re-engage voltage put the car into reverse put the car back into park and that will reset the uh, the voltage levels in your rear SAM then and only then will your brake lights start to function as uh, as they should warning in the cluster is going to go away brake lights will operate as um, intended and you will be happy a um, couple of other things your bulbs um, what they the, the real problem is that there was not a sufficient um, there was not a f sufficient um, connection to ground so what was happening is all that voltage was going to the bulb the bulb would try to pull um, current and because there was not sufficient ground they would have little tiny arcs in the connection um, and then that connection would have little uh, corrosion and the electrical connection would um, fail anyway just wanted you to know that needed step it's not in the original video I also have another video uh, right up here that's talking about and showing you how to convert those rare um, incandescent bulbs to LED bulbs alright those LED bulbs will last twice three times ten times as long as a regular bulbs they're not going to vibrate and break um, the filament that is and uh, they last a long time however you're going to need a resistor on each bulb because uh, the LED bulbs don't draw as much amperage as the older bulbs and it will register the same similar message um, bulb lamp out anyway hopefully this clears that up I've been getting like I said earlier, tons of messages asking what to do next. Um, hopefully this clears that up. And uh, let me know if you have any questions down below. And uh, just uh, hopeful, hope that everyone's doing well. I just hope that everyone's doing well. And let me know um, what video you'd like to see. New video every Monday. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. As always, everyone, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel if you find these videos helpful. 
what that does, it pushes my videos up in the search results so that other Mercedes owners, drivers, do-it-yourselfers can find them easier. Thanks and peace out.